this date of June 4th. We're gathered here today for the wedding and the ceremony of David and Roxy. A man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. David, do you take Roxy to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her, to cherish her, to support her in weather and sickness or in health, prosperity and poverty, and for the rest of your life? I do. I do. Uh, dear Heavenly Lord, uh, I just come to you right now and I want to lift up David and Roxy, and I want to lift up their children, I want to lift up their dads, their moms, their sisters, their brothers, everybody around them, Lord, and I just want you to uh, see the true display of love and fun and joy and all the things good that come with a marriage and family, Lord, that other people can see that and it blesses them. And bless them as they go through the ups and downs and everything that comes through with this marriage and until the end of time, until they grow old. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for everything. We thank you for all the blessings and love and everything you pour into us. Amen. By the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving, it's got me moving my own feet. Feeling that I could ever dare to dream is you forever moving next to me. Let's not waste time or take this slow. We've got miles behind us, but miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth.
Take this slow, we've got miles behind us But miles to go, so let's just break this down To the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than two Yeah, you and I as one will always be better than Okay, I got a second. I told him a bunch of stuff. I better say that. Um, I will cut this down to an hour and a half. <laughs> but, uh, I can say a lot of funny stuff, but you know what? I don't have anything funny to say, really. I love these two. I've known Roxy since she was born. Dave's become one of my best friends, and I uh, couldn't be more proud of them. And I uh, just thank the world of them. And uh, Roxy's always been like a daughter. I guess I got a son of mine. And uh, they're good people. Of course, I've known Chris for 100 years. And uh, the whole family's my family, too. And uh, I thought that'd be funny, though. But I can't really be that funny. I'm trying to keep my crowd out of speed. It's, it's crazy all the stuff that I've been with through. Uh, there's so much I can say that I'm just forgetting right now. Uh, words can't even put in to how much I love both of them. One of those places that people are ever being got, you got your back no matter who you are, how well he knows he loves everybody. Everybody loves him. I love what's played with Roxy Grove again and they grow from the beginning to what's just not even started. I could stand here all day and tell everyone stories from the past. Dr. Like Tommy scared the life out of me with a goose, but nobody has time for all of that. I'm so happy that you and Rock have each other, and there's no one else that can match her crazy and stubborn soul except for you. I love the way that you love her so deeply. And thank you for being the man you are and giving her the life she deserves every single day. Terrell, I am honored to be by your side today. And grow it up. <laughs> You've never been to my big sister. You're my best friend. And you've always been like a mother to me. You picked me up and also put me in my place more times than I can count, and I see you doing it all over again with the kids, including my own. I pray that one day I can be half as strong-willed, beautiful, and determined as you are. I hope that today has been everything that both of you have hoped for, even though I know that you're just ready to get going to the honeymoon. <laughs>